Hi students, what is this in my hand? It is an open pipe. What is the meaning of open pipe? A pipe which is open from both the sides is called as open pipe. In this video, we will be deriving equations of harmonics in case of open pipe. Hi students, welcome to my channel Faisal Physics CIS point to point explanation, examination, point of view explanation. In this video, we will be learning a very important derivation of intermediate second year physics and the topic is open pipe. This question was appeared many times in the board exam. Here, we will be deriving the equations of frequencies of harmonics in case of open pipe. First of all, we will discuss the basics of the derivations and then we will derive it. If you want the notes of this topic, in the description, you can find my WhatsApp link. You can join the link and there you can get the notes. The first basic is speed of sound formula. You have to know that is V is equal to N lambda, where V is speed, N is frequency, lambda is wavelength. Second basic, you must know distance between two antinode that is represented by or written by lambda by 2. So these two formulas are important to derive the equations and after that these three diagrams are very important if you understand these three diagrams then the derivation will become very easy now look here i have drawn three pipes first pipe second pipe and third pipe in the first pipe you can see only two antinodes are there in case of second pipe you can see one two three antinodes in the third pipe you can see one two three four antinodes so to derive these equations so you must know these two formulas and these three diagrams let us discuss something more about these diagrams so here we have seen the distance between two antinodes is lambda by d in case of first pipe the total length of the pipe we will represent with letter l and here this length is equal to what distance between two antinodes distance between two antinodes is how much lambda by 2 that means for the first pipe we can write l is equal to lambda by 2 now second case in second case you can see here one antinode two antinode that means from here to here lambda by 2 and from antinode to next antinode again lambda by 2 that means lambda by 2 and lambda by 2 two lambda by 2 in case of second pipe it is two lambda by 2 now let us see the third case here antinode to antinode 1 lambda by 2 again antinode to antinode second lambda by 2 antinode to antinode third lambda by 2 that means total length is how much lambda by 2 lambda by 2 lambda by 2 that is l is equal to 3 lambda by 2 if you remember these basics then the derivation will become very easy just now we have seen the basics now let us have the actual derivations of frequencies of harmonics the first one is fundamental frequency it is called as first harmonic fundamental frequency first harmonic also known as first harmonic so initially we have to draw a diagram of open pi and in the first case the waves inside the tube will be like this as you know these ends are called as antinodes so antinode antinode you know that that is equal to lambda by 2 distance between two antinodes is equal to lambda by 2 and this is total equal to length of the tube that is l that is l that means from figure l is equal to lambda by 2 we can write from figure L equal to lambda by 2. L equal to lambda by 2. So from here we have to find the value of lambda. So we can write lambda by 2 is equal to L or lambda equal to 2L. This make it as equation number 1. Now we have to use the formula of speed of sound that is given by speed of sound is given by V is equal to N lambda. For first case, fundamental frequency or first harmonic, we can write in place of n, n1. Make this as equation number second. Now, 
in equation number 1 you have the value of lambda so substitute the value of lambda in equation number 2 that means substitute 1 into or in simple words you can write put 1 in 2 so this v as it is in place of n 1 n n 1 as it is in place of lambda 2 l 2 l we have to find frequency so i will flip this equation n 1 2 l i will write on the left side i am writing here and v on the right side so as we have to find frequency n1 so keeping n1 on the left side v and this 2l i am cross multiplying to the other side therefore v by 2l so this is the equation of frequency of fundamental frequency in case of open pipe n1 equal to v by 2l let us see the second case second case is known as first overtone or second harmonic so in this case also we have to we have to draw diagram but now we will draw two waves like this. So from here to here, one antinode, second antinode, third antinode. So in this case, distance between two antinode is lambda by two. And from here to here, distance between two antinode is lambda by two. That means the total distance between first and the last antinode is two lambda by two, which is equal to length of the pipe. L. So, from the figure we can write, from figure we can write L is equal to 2 lambda by 2, L equal to 2 lambda by 2, we have to find lambda. So, flip the equation, 2 lambda by 2 equal to L, lambda equal to 2 L by 2. If you want to cancel 2, 2 we can cancel, but I am not doing here. So, make this as equation number 1. Now, we have to use speed of sound formula, speed of sound v equal to n lambda. As this is the next case, first overtone or second harmonic, we are representing n as 2, n2. Make this equation number 2. So, here in place of lambda, we can write the value of lambda 2L by 2, that is put 1 in 2. Put equation 1 in equation 2 v is equal to n2 in place of lambda we can write 2 l by 2 2 l by 2 so we have to find n2 i am flipping the equation right rhs i am writing on the left and v i am writing on the right so n2 2 l by 2 is equal to v or n2 equal to cross multiply 2 v by 2 l so here we got the equation of first overtone as n2 is equal to 2 v by 2 l. Now, here you can see v by 2 l is nothing but n1 we have derived just now before this. So, in place of v by 2 l we can write n1 therefore, n2 is equal to 2 n1. So, this is the equation in case of first overtone. Let us see the next part of the derivation that is second overtone derivation. So, we have to draw the diagram here. So, in this case, the waves will be like this as shown in the figure. So, we can see here one antinode, second antinode, third antinode, fourth antinode. That means distance with the distance will be 3 lambda by 2, which is equal to L. Now, from figure we can write from figure we can write 3 lambda by 2 equal to L. So, from here lambda equal to cross multiply 2 L by 3. So, this is equation number 1. So, 2 and 3 will come down. Now, we have to use the equation of speed of sound. That is we know that speed of sound V equal to N lambda. This is the third case. So, in place of N we can write 3. So, v equal to n3. Make this as equation number second. Now, substitute the value of lambda in equation number 2. That means put 1 in 2. So, we can write v is equal to n3 as it is. In place of lambda 2l by 3. 2l by 3. We have to find the value of n3. So, I am flipping the equation. So, right hand side I am writing on the left side. So, n3 into 2L by 3 equal to this way as it is. So, 
so from here n3 is equal to 3 cos multiply there so it will become 3v by 2l down here 2l so this is the equation for the last case that is second overtone or third harmonic this can also be written as n3 is equal to 3 in place of v by 2l we know that that is n1 so n3 is equal to 3 n1 also we can write if you see all the frequencies that is n1 is to n2 is to n3 so for for first case we got n1 for second case we got 2 n1 and for third case we got 3 n1 so finally we can write n1 is to n2 is to n3 as 1 is to 2 is to 3 that means the ratio of frequencies in case of open pipe is 1 is to 2 is to 3.